Hello, this is Joel Lynchum with another Power Platform Answer. Today's question in the forum comes from Ahmed. Ahmed uh, says that he's trying to connect to the Common Data Service to get data from the Power Apps portal, but when he gets it, he doesn't see what he wants to see. Um, he has several lookup fields, and as he sees, uh, clinic location, doctor name, specialized area, that's a good, that's not the name of the clinic. Well, that's a good question. And I'm going to give you the answer. The answer is that is the ID in the lookup field. The lookup field stores the, the ID of the record. It doesn't show store the name of the record. So what you have to do is you have to get that information. So when I, when I have my Power Automate flow, I've simulated this. Um, so I've got several fields here. Now let's go into the into the model driven app, which again, model driven app uses common data service just like if this was done with the portal. There was no, there's no real difference. Let's go to account and let's create Bob's fishing shack. Let's say for primary contact, let's look up and make uh, Jim Glenn. He's the he's a primary contact for Bob's fishing shack, and save that record. Now let's go look over at our uh, at our flow. So it succeeded, and let's look at the output. The output is uh, Bob's fishing shack, and then the good of the record, just like Ahmed is seeing. So that's expected. It's not an error. What do I need to do if I want to get that to say Jim Glenn instead of saying the good? Uh, let's go and add another action. In this case, we want to do a get record, get a record. But what we want to get isn't the isn't the original record. What we want to get is the contact because we need to have the details from the contact. So if you want to get the name or any other details from that record, by the way, um, what you want to do is do a get record and let's just type contact. And for the item ID, we want to pass along uh, the primary contact. Value. Now, in my compose step, instead of doing primary contact from there, what I'm going to do is type full name because that's the name of the contact on the contact. Just make sure you're getting it from the get record step, not from the uh, on create step. So in this case, the clinic, you would have a get record for clinic, and then you would get the put the clinic name in there or the other, other fields. Uh, then let's save that, and then... Um, let's test it and see right, see if that fixes the problem. Nice thing about Flow, you can test it without having to rerun it. So I'm just going to use that last uh, previous run. All right, so let's look at this now. Yep, Jim Glenn, right there. So, Ahmed, I hope that helps. And I know it's a little bit confusing because I, I wouldn't expected that if I hadn't done it before. But once you're used to it, you'll need to do that. What you'll need to watch for, though, is if you have, uh, say, lookup fields that don't contain things, then you'll have to account for that and maybe do some conditions. Like if this contains data, then do that. Um, that way, unless you're sure, maybe unless they're required and always filled out, then you can be sure that it's not an error. You just don't want to create a condition where your flow will create an error. I'm Joel Lindstrom. Thanks for your question. See you around the forums.